The DMZ is an ecological treasure trove that is 4 kilometers wide and 248 kilometers long that stretches from where the Imjin River meets the West Sea to Kosong, Gangwon Province that lies along the East Sea. 200 times larger than Yoido, this place is like no other in the world. This deserted land is home to endangered birds and vast forests that harbor rare plants. It also serves as a natural haven to some mammals. But there is another side to this beautiful place. Although this area is known as the demilitarized zone, it is in fact heavily militarized. Before it became a battlefield in the Korean War, this area was home to many people. During the war, countless people lost their lives in attempts to take the high ground here. The armistice agreement turned a four kilometer wide strip of land into one without armies or weapons. But not for long. And in 1976, the Panmunjom axe murder incident occurred here. Military tensions at the DMZ continued to rise. However, in the midst of repeated conflict and reconciliation at the DMZ, there's a place of warmth and peace. The tension of imminent danger and peaceful natural landscapes coexist in this small village in Korea, an unknown land that only exists on maps but is otherwise invisible to satellite navigation and street view services. This is Taesongdong, located in the DMZ, the Demilitarized Zone. The Armistice Agreement was signed in 1953. The South and the North each keep one village where civilians can reside. Currently, there are 51 households and around 150 residents who farm together in Taesongdong. Hanmunjong is one kilometer northeast of the village and the military demarcation line is only 400 meters away. The North Korean flag is flown right before their eyes. Taesongdong is quite unique in that although it is administratively under the control of the city of Paju, the residents' civil affairs are managed by the UN command, which is why they enjoy benefits like being exempt from military service and paying taxes. This village is not easily accessible even residents are not allowed to come and go as they please. There's a roll call at 7 p.m. and curfews are strictly enforced. There are no supermarkets or convenience stores. For grocery shopping, there's a bus that operates only four times a day that goes to Moonsign. When people feel sick and need to go to the doctor, they have to take an army helicopter. Daesongdong Elementary School is the only school here and it's quite popular among parents. 30 students and 10 teachers. It's almost like getting private tutoring. The UN soldiers are the English teachers. Commanding officers, the so-called stars, and public figures often attend the school's graduation. The school also offers various alternative learning experiences that students can't get anywhere else. The flower boy and girl at the 2018 Inter-Korean Summit at Panmunjom were proud Taesongdong Elementary School students. The DMZ is a place that bears the marks of extreme conflict 
but ceaseless efforts are made to ease tensions and bring peace to the area. In 1988, former South Korean President Mo Tae-woo proposed the construction of Peace City in the DMZ. And in 1991, the two Koreas signed an agreement to discuss confidence-building measures, including using the DMZ for peaceful purposes. Since the Inter-Korean Summit in 2018, some progress has been made. The two Koreas worked on removing landmines from the DMZ. The remains of those fallen during the Korean War were returned to their families after 65 years. Concerts and film festivals have also been held here in the hopes of promoting lasting peace. The DMZ is heading towards the demilitarization as its name suggests. We will keep moving forward to completely demilitarize the area and create a safer environment for coexistence and peace. We will continue to walk this path one step at a time.